Hello, my name is Kaylin Estrabillo. Hello, my name is Axel Laponte, and I reside in Orlando, Florida. Hi, my name is Stephanie Kosopoulos. Hello, my name is Ali Duty. I started theater about 12 years ago by doing school plays and musicals, and I started film acting about two years ago, so pretty recent. <laughs> I've been acting for now two years now. I was 12 years old. I have been acting since about 2001, 2002-ish. I first got into acting throughout school, so middle school, high school, things like that. And as I gained more interest, I started doing triple threat camps and other acting classes. And I've always wanted to get into film acting. So it was kind of just out of the blue one day. I thought to myself, you know, I've always wanted to do it. Let's just do it. How I got started into acting uh, was through church. I was in a film club at a church. It started with my dance class. They opened a musical theater class and it was acting, singing, and dancing, and we got to compete, and that is when my passion for acting grew much stronger. I had a friend who wanted to audition for the grade school play, and she took me along as moral support. Now, I was like a shy, nerdy girl growing up, and like I was kind of weird, so nobody really wanted to talk to me, so the idea of like public speaking terrified me. <laughs> My first audition was actually offered to me by this casting director who had seen me perform at this online singing fundraiser. So this was at the peak time of online auditions and self-tapes. So my first audition was a self-tape. So I was able to do it in the comfort of my own home with my mom as my reader. And I got to redo the scenes as many times as it needed to be redone. My first audition was uh, pretty awful. Uh, I did a first tape audition, did not know what I was doing whatsoever, and it took me forever to memorize the lines. It was definitely an interesting experience. We had 100 to 200 people, we were in this room, and each time they would take 10 people out, and then they would bring it down to the top 10. I did make the top 10, which was pretty cool, and it was really nice. Like, you got to do the lines, and it was just very, very repetitive. It was a good, like, 30 to 45 minute process, but it was really exciting. So my first audition was actually one I was not prepared for. Since this first audition was offered to me, I remember feeling really grateful and shocked to have been given the opportunity and really stressed out because I had no idea what I was doing. It was my first audition. I had to research, you know, where an eyeline should be or what an eyeline is because I didn't really know what that was. And then shift from a theatrical approach to acting to a more nuanced version. And I think overall, my feelings towards this first audition was excitement because seeing this piece of work on paper in a script and being able to finally bring it to life and people could actually see it potentially, that was, that was really surreal for me. And I think that it was my first step into film acting. It was my first step into doing something that I really wanted to do. So that was also the big excitement for me. It was pretty nerve-wracking. Uh, like I said, it was my first time doing it. Did not know what I was doing. And um, but it took me like forever to do it. Overwhelmed, excited, anxious, lots, lots of feelings. So you can imagine how scared I was when my friend pushed me on stage in front of her and I had no choice but to read the lines. So as I was going, I don't know if I was breathing, my heart was pounding, I was freaking out. But then as I started to read a little bit more, I started to settle into the words and get a bit of a flow. This specific audition was for a TV series. It was for a feature film. It was for a commercial. For the grade school play, If These Walls Could Talk. Unfortunately, I was not able to book this TV series. And it was a bit of a disappointment for, not a bit, it was, it was a disappointment for me um, because I was really naive thinking, you know, if I get this job, it's going to be the kickstart to my acting career. And, you know, my, the casting director was really nice about it. She, um, she emailed back after I emailed her because I didn't know what to do. I didn't hear from them in a long time. So I just emailed saying, what's going on? <laughs> like, what do I do now? So she was really nice in responding back and giving me feedback, which was incredible. 
And I think it was a good learning experience for me. And it was a good motivator for me as well. Yes, I did book it. I did not book it, but I did make top 10, which is pretty cool. So afterwards, the theater teacher told me to stay after, and the irony is my friend didn't get a role, so uh, what are you going to do? But ever since then, I got the acting bug, and I definitely owe it to my first drama teacher, Victoria Heckman. She is an incredible teacher. She taught me so much about blocking, how to use my diaphragm, how to properly project. Uh, ever since then, I had auditioned for every grade school show, high school, stuff in college, and then I realized... I can't live without this. This is the one thing that I can't live without. So I've been acting ever since and it's taken me on an incredible journey. There's a lot of reasons why I like acting, but I think the main one is that I just love being absorbed by a story. Um, you know, even with reading books or writing, you just get absorbed by the storyline and its characters. And I think acting too brings together a lot of people because when you create something, you're going to share it with other people and you know it can make communities and connections between people that may not have connected before and I think that's a really beautiful thing and yes you know acting is hard and it's goofy and it's a whole mixture of emotions but I think your end product and the communities that you can make because of of your initial idea uh, just makes the whole process worth it. I love acting because you can portray so many people in many different ways. Being able to play all kinds of roles, to just have a perspective within the audience and just trying to connect with the audience and within the world, I think is a great, wonderful thing. I love acting because you get to play someone else. And I've always had a passion for performing, so getting to perform with my talent of acting it's just so much fun. And also just wanting to help someone inspire, be a role model, and anybody that has the same passion just to help them. Now, I feel like acting is so important because there's so many different stories out there that need to be told. And it's so cathartic for an audience to live through that experience and an actor to kind of relate their experiences to the character. And so it kind of becomes this joint collaboration to create this beautiful story and this beautiful experience.